Okay, so the next prominent figure I wanted to discuss is Abby Fisher. As I discussed in a previous um, episode, Abby Fisher was believed to be the first African-American woman that had written a cookbook. This was until 2000 when Melinda Russell's book was discovered. So Abby Fisher published a book, uh, What Miss Fisher Knows About Southern Cooking Soups, Pickles, and Preserves. Now, the interesting thing about Abby Fisher is that she was illiterate. Um, this wasn't interesting in itself, being in that time that slaves were not taught to read or write. Um, it was more interesting because the publication of her book relied on the trust that she had with her allies. She had to orate all of her recipes um, to her allies and they had to write it all down. Now, this is interesting because it starts to show that relationship between the white and the black community and how allies were important in getting the voice of the black community out. It's also interesting because it also is believed to be where some of the erasure start to happen in terms of cooking. Um, so in terms of pronunciation down to how it was then written, um, there are small things like the word succotash they believe that are kind of lost in translation there. Abby Fisher lived in South Carolina where she was the cook for a prominent family. Now there she was able to create a bunch of jams and pickles and preserves that she became really, really well known for. She actually won a lot of accolades and medals and was really, really quite well known for having great tasting food. Now coming off of the success, her and her husband actually started a catering company. This catering company became highly, highly sought after and was actually very, very successful in its own name. I love this story because I think it really goes back to what Campbell was talking about. You know, it's not enough to just do what you do well. Do what you do well and succeed and push yourself and become prominent. And that's exactly what she did. She sold her preserves. She was selling her jam. She was selling all of her condiments and then went on to own a catering company that wasn't just running, but it was highly sought after. I think it's just an amazing way to show the way that someone who was enslaved and illiterate and who should traditionally not of having these opportunities was able to create a great position for herself a respected position for herself um, and was able to then tangibly have her words in print with the help of her allies i like this story because she didn't just do her job she did her job damn good she did her job so well that she won medals she won accolades she was a prominent figure in terms of um, culinary arts she started her own company and like she just she leveled up she wasn't okay with just sitting by and when she hit the roadblock of not being able to create a cookbook because of her inability to read and write she was able to trust an ally enough to take her orations and make them into print where we can enjoy them today like this story like the other ones subscribe